morning we're on our way to Barcelona we're gonna do 12 hours in Barcelona we we're just having dinner the other day when Jake said we should do something random flights to Barcelona from Ibiza return was 12 euros so why not let's go to Barcelona so we got through security in about two minutes and the best thing about Ibiza airport it has its own Irish bar it's actually an Irish themed Boston bar all the TV screens it actually does look like a, a bar you would see in uh, New York so we're not gonna go in there or are we we'll go in for one it's too early isn't it <laughs> So upon further research, O'Leary's is not in fact an Irish bar, it's a Boston themed bar. Which is good as, it's got everything relating to Boston Celtics, Harvard, pictures of JFK everywhere. So it, and it's called O'Leary's so definitely there's some connection. I think it's actually a Spanish company. Um, just riding off the back of our Irish name on that subject. I almost forgot my passport. I forgot that we have two passports. So if you're Irish, this is what my passport looks like. I'm not gonna show you the front for obvious reasons. Um, and thankfully I had that in my wallet. I didn't even think to pick up my uh, passport because I'm glad we're only flying to Europe because that doesn't work. That works only in Europe, but it's always handy to have in my wallet for short trips like this. So we've just made it to Barcelona, the skies are blue, uh, the weather is a little bit cold, that was a very fast flight, so fast that Ryanair didn't get to push us any um, scratch cards, need to pop my ears though but we're going to make our way into Barcelona now, we're going to jump in a taxi, normally I would recommend getting the bus but because we are pushed for time, the money we're saving we might as well just go. Actually, we have decided to get the metro because it is early in the morning therefore the traffic will be wild and it's going to cut how much time we have in Barcelona also the taxi rank is pretty long I don't know if you can see it from here it's the wrong way into the city center now by a metro We are finally here in Barcelona. It took about 20 minutes on the tram, metro, and we're now on Las Ramblas. Gonna get some breakfast. Probably get an Irish breakfast. It's a little bit windy. Ooh. We just had a quick breakfast in Flaherty's. Done the job, eight euros, full Irish breakfast. Can't beat it. Sets us up for the day. So let's go and explore Barcelona. Mate, we're going to explore the city. Not right now. No! 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 So we made it to Plata de Catalonia. We've already done the market. It's busy around town today. There's also a massive like protest or parade or something on. You can hear the helicopters in the sky. I'm not entirely sure what is going on. Do not be fooled, it is freezing cold with the wind. The wind is so strong. Same in a beast, that's one of the reasons why we left. Um, I'm not quite sure what's going on today. outside the Sagrada Familia which was started being built in 1882 look at the size of this it's due to be finished in 2024 2026 2026 there you go they need some more Irish on the job we'd have that up in about two years max look at it 
There we go. Well, we'll probably go to an Irish bar nearby because it is absolutely freezing. This is probably a high risk area as well because there's so many tourists. There's probably so many pickpockets. The Michael P Collins pub is just around the corner. I spoke to people today from Barcelona. They said this is the coldest it's been all year. It's only a little bit of wind, but it's enough. It's enough to get you out of this. So they've been building that since 1882. Jake, that's the last time you bought around. Rich. <laughs> rich, very rich. If you haven't noticed, we're probably the two worst guys to go traveling because we're unfazed by anything. It is pretty impressive though. But I need to pee, it's really cold and we need to go to an Irish bar ASAP. <laughs> so if you're thinking, if this is not your usual um, Barcelona guided tour. So you can see that there's a tour guide behind me explaining everything about I just think you could you could tell people anything, couldn't you, if you're a tour guide? You could just be like, ah, this Jesus built it. So from there, straight to the Michael Collins Irish pub. Um, I've been coming to Barcelona since I was 16. Um, first time I came here when I was watching Celtic play actually in Barcelona. Obviously I have to stop over every year because of the winter flights. So I'm quite familiar with the place. Not not that I know it that well, but I remember the places I have been and we're going to go in and have a drink and uh, a pee. <laughs> Jake and Dwayne's big day out. How are you finding it so far? <laughs> having a great time. Having a, having a great time. We met Lawrence in the Michael Collins Irish pub. Lawrence, if you're watching, you're a great guy. And if you come to Ibiza, hit us up. Uh, there was another fella there from, where was he from, Mayo? Mayo. He was a good guy too. So we're here waiting for a train. People are looking at me a wee bit funny. But we're gonna go and um, gonna get some food and then it's time to go back to Ibiza. That's how quick uh, 12 hours in Barcelona goes. So we've just left that Irish bar because we wanted to go and watch the game in Saudi Arabia where Ronaldo versus Messi. Never thought I'd be leaving a pub to go and watch a, a football match in Saudi Arabia. We're going to make our way to Flaherty's and then it's straight back to the airport because we are running on. Not a lot of time. How's everyone been? Let me know what you think of this sort of travel vlog. Something new? Just thought I'd do it. Maybe I'll do it every week. It's beautiful here. Are you actually are you actually watching that on the oh. dedication? Dedication. <laughs> Oh, we've just made it back to Barcelona Airport. Next stop, Ibiza. We've got about one hour to kill, but it's always good to be back at the airport. A one hour by the time you go through customs. Um, yeah, we'll be right on to Ibiza flight. It's 10 to 8. <coughs> Excuse me. It was a good day so far in Barcelona. No drama. Uh, good fun. Good to see everybody. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed this one made it through Barcelona two minutes three minutes now we're going through duty free does anybody want anything because I'm oh how much a cigarette not that I smoke <laughs> is the type of guy that goes and sprays stuff on him so he smells good if I pay for <laughs> it so we've made it back to Barcelona airport guys if you like this vlog or just let me know a bit, bit of feedback um, we had no real plan today, it was just going to see as much as Barcelona as we could but 
obviously it was so cold so we did have to stop off in bars and restaurants and stuff and just get some food um, now we're going back to Barcelona I'll tell you what time it is right now Ooh, it's in the wrong pocket it is just gone 20 05 um, so yeah we'll be in San Antonio oh, thanks girls uh, we're gonna be in San Antonio by about half ten Probably, I'll probably finish the vlog up there when we get there um, and then tomorrow is a new day and we'll be back with the Ibiza vlogs I would like to do more of these type of videos around the world because today was really cheap just to go to Barcelona it was like less than 20 euros and I'm the guy who said he wouldn't make it on time if we went in his time we would have missed this flight made it back to Ibiza, Jake's just won a football bet so it's his turn to <laughs> buy the taxi. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to get a taxi, taxi costs less than our flights, uh, none of our friends are going to pick us up. You remember who your mates are, if any of our mates are watching, Hashtag we remember Matt. that. <laughs> Hashtag Matt. Just made it back to San Antonio, it's rather windy, we've got a, a, an extra straggler here just surprised us. Say hello How Alex. Are How are we lad? I'm going to finish the vlog on that. Um, I didn't even know he was coming to Ibiza, he just appeared in the airport. As you can see, San Antonio is quite quiet, so there's not much more to report on. 